What's up guys, my name is Johnny, I'm Style Share Luz, and today we're gonna to be talking about 10 things you should do before getting your ears pierced. First thing you should do is definitely take care of all hair appointments, shavings, waxes, whatever you need in terms of grooming should be done before getting a piercing, only because you definitely don't want a barber to be snagging on you like a fresh tragus or a fresh helix as they're like combing, brushing, bleaching, whatever it is, hairstyles do to your hair to look good and all that, handle that before getting a piercing only because you don't want anyone to get near that area for a good time period. Only because in the beginning it's very fresh, it's very sore, it's irritating, you just don't want to sit there and like have to deal with that. So definitely take care of anything barber and like salon related before you get a piercing. That's what I'm trying to say guys. Take care of that beforehand. Second thing is shower up. Believe it or not, uh, we do experience people that do come in with a very bad odor. Do yourself a favor, do your stylist and piercer a favor, shower up and get cleaned up and like really take care of yourself before you get a piercing. Only because we're in close proximity, even though everyone's wearing masks, you can still smell that stuff. So yeah, it just looks good whenever your hair is clean, smells fresh, it's just a good pleasant experience just to shower before you get a piercing. Believe it or not, this happens more times than you think, guys. So please shower up before seeing your piercer or your stylist. Number three is sleep. Please do not come with one hour of sleep or like a three day bender. I know a lot of, uh, I know a lot of people love to party, but it's definitely a good idea to get a good, nice rest so you feel very refreshed, very comfortable, very happy, not groggy, not hungover, not like, you know, whatever it is happens when you don't sleep for a couple days, pretty much dead. It's just much better, you think better, your decision making is also a lot better. I don't gotta go through the health benefits of sleep, but you know, sleep before you get a piercing, it just, you just feel better guys, just take care of that beforehand. Number four is eat a nice and healthy meal. Definitely don't eat anything too heavy. That's gonna make you feel sick after getting a piercing. Definitely eat a very light, very healthy meal before getting a piercing. But a nice salad, maybe a nice bowl. I don't know, I'm not trying to give you nutrition advice either, but just eat something that's gonna make you feel good before you get a piercing, because if you feel good, you're just gonna have a good experience guys, so. Hit up your Chipotle's. My cameraman just informed me that blood loss and feeling dizzy if you don't eat a meal. That is very true, I completely forgot about that. Eating a meal before makes you feel good because sometimes people do have a low blood sugar drop whenever they get a piercing. So eating something beforehand definitely makes you feel like not passing out, is what I'm trying to say guys. So eating a meal definitely helps you to not pass out. Number five is agua, aqua, hydro, water. Very important guys. Hydration is super, super important because you're, if you're like me right now and your mouth is very dry trying to pronounce certain words in the video, it just doesn't feel right. So a nice cup of water. Can I get water? Water! Can we get water here? My voice is cracking. Can we get water here? Speaking about water, I actually do need water because I do feel very dry in the mouth area, in the oral area. I need some water guys. I need this video to be rolling good. Yo! Production assistant. Get the water? Hey, get your own water, you prick. That's right, this is how actors get treated on set at Lulu's, guys. Like, hey, hey. Don't play victim right now, bro. Just because you have beautiful blue eyes and ugly brother. You're me a 20% of that cup of water. Look at that shit. Okay. You know what? I was feeling a little sorry for you. <laughs> but it's like you ruined my shit. You know that? Get me a cup of water. Not a cup of water? Seriously. So it'll be good for the video too. Bro, I'm here working the back of planning vlogs and shit. You're over here. Just two seconds. Give me water. Bro, I'm working back. Bro, does he think he is? So as we're waiting for fucking water, and I'm using the F word because it's taking some damn time, you know. But it's. I serve butter. Cheers. Drink water before you get a piercing. Anyway, asking questions is a very important thing. Sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Shit. I was getting fired. Someone's getting fired today. Yep, he's getting fired. Number six is bring a friend. It's always good to have an emotional support friend with you. It doesn't always mean an animal, because I'm pretty sure they're not gonna let you bring a dog or a cat or a turtle or an ostrich or whatever the animal that you consider 
your emotional support animal. I've seen a peacock on an airplane once because it was an emotional support animal. Not gonna get into it, but bring a friend, a human being, someone that you are close with, someone who always supports you in times of need. Bring that person with you because having them sitting there, supporting you, holding your hand is honestly the best thing. A significant other is also a great idea. So definitely bring another person with you so you have a very pleasant experience and they can help you out throughout the whole world. Number seven is ask questions. I think the most important thing when you're getting something that you have no idea what it is, is asking questions. If I'm gonna go get surgery, I'm gonna ask the doctor a bunch of questions. And piercings are like surgery, except you're not making a cut into your body. You're pretty much putting a hole in your body. It's always good to ask questions because there's a lot of things you might wanna know, but you're hesitant to ask. But if you're coming here at Lulu's, you're gonna ask all the questions you want. And if you ask questions and they don't give you answers, then come talk to me. I'll make sure I give you the answers you need. Number eight is very important. I don't think people realize this, like dress comfortable. Obviously don't look like a slob or don't look like you just woke up out of bed because you shouldn't walk out of your house looking like that anyway. But it's good to dress very comfortable, maybe at athleisure wear, whatever it is. Whatever is comfortable to you, wear that because you don't want to walk into like a place with high heels and a tight dress on or like really tight pants on or like uh, what's that thing that they put around the stomach that make like a corset. Just dress very comfortable because you are getting a piercing done. You want to be in the most comfortable position possible so definitely dress comfortable it definitely helps just be at ease just be comfortable number nine is control the hair or just shave your head like me I didn't have an option I have to shave my head because I'm losing my hair but if you do have a nice set of hair please comb your hair tie your hair up put bobby pins in whatever it is required to control this jungle of a thing on top of your head please control it guys because whenever you're piercing and whenever you're changing jewelry you just don't want to get snagged on you don't want to pull on anyone's hair it's just really nice to have all the hair controlled because it just makes an easy experience for you makes an easy experience for me and then we're all happy at the very end and that's pretty much it yeah just do us a favor do everyone a favor just control the mane the top what is it called yeah tame the mane Game the main. Number 10, mentally prepared. This is a big one. If you're getting into something that is absolutely terrifying to you, you have to have mental thoughts. You have to think about this stuff. You know, you have to be very mentally prepared. So with good food, good sleep, hydration, friend, all those things will definitely help you mentally prepare. Being mentally prepared probably is everything. So don't bring your annoying kids to get a piercing because they help you not mentally prepare. They help you go crazy, guys. So don't bring your little gargoyles to the store and have them running around and drive the piercer crazy and you crazy, guys. Just kidding, I'm gonna put that in there. I love kids, what are you talking about? No, but all seriousness, it's just best to be mentally prepared because you wanna go into it obviously making the right decision. And if you have lack of sleep, if you don't eat right or whatnot, and you're intoxicated or something, you're not gonna make the best decision. So being sober, being mentally prepared, just being ready for what you're about to get done is the most important thing. So you can have a, just a overall good process. And those are your 10 things you should do before getting a piercing, guys. My name is Johnny. I am the stylist here at Lulu's, one of them. It was very nice to teach you guys these 10 important things. So please go ahead and click this video right over here to know five things you should not do when getting your ears pierced. Click this imaginary square button that you don't see, but it's gonna be there because some nerd named Harut is gonna program it into the screen. Hey, if this video is entertaining and educational at the same time, or one or the other, it doesn't matter. Uh, like and subscribe this video to see more of my pretty face. Or don't.